Jared, there's not much you haven't done at AFL level and we as a club are very excited that you've chosen to continue your footballing journey at the Borough in season 2019. How have you found the overall pre-season and practice matches so far? Uh, yeah, it's been good. It's it's um, It's been a good change. You know, I've sort of haven't trained nights for a while, but uh, settled into that well and a good bunch of boys and I've been enjoying it. Um, as he's obviously you know, pretty good at what he does and I've been able to settle in pretty well and I'm looking forward to the season. I think we We've got a pretty solid uh, list of players and we run pretty deep, so uh, excited to see where 2019 ends up for us. And you've played a lot of a lot of football at Collingwood and we all know their status as one of the powerhouse sporting clubs in Australia, but, but before joining Port Melbourne, what were some of the impressions that you had you know, from the outside looking in at the borough? Um, I've, sort of, I've had mates play here and you know, I've obviously played a fair bit against the borough as well. Um, my impressions is a pretty sort of proud club. Um, and it's just the sort of club that you know gets on with it, regardless of the, the hand they've been dealt. Um, it can be a tough, tough caper as a standalone club, but um, you know the, the borough are always thereabouts come finals time, and the sort of side that you'd never take lightly because you know they're competitors and um, just just an organisation with a lot of tradition and yeah, a lot of pride. And how have you found that transition of coming back from the AFL system, you know, full time into the VFL system? It's obviously a bit different in terms of you know training and life outside of the game. Yeah, it's been it's been a bit of an adjustment. Um, I've I've enjoyed it though. It's it's a bit of a step back, uh, not a step back, but it's just uh, a little bit more relaxing now. The lifestyle, um, probably a little bit less stress involved. So it's it's been good in, in that sense. And um, you know, to still be a part of an of you know an environment or a group that are trying trying to achieve something here is good as well. Um, keeps you motivated, and I still feel like I've got plenty of good footy left in me. So. Um, you know, it might be a little bit more relaxed type setup, but um, we're still trying to achieve things, so it's 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 been good. And we've seen you perform a variety of different roles during your time at AFL level. Have you had much discussion with Ezzy about what sort of role you know you could be playing in the side this season? Yeah, we had we had a few discussions early on when I met with Ezzy and, and Spud, and um, I'm thinking it'll be it'll be predominantly midfield, um, but. You know, I, I like to think I'm the sort of player that if the role needs to be played somewhere else, I'm happy to do it and, um, you know, you go play forward for a bit or mid or wherever, um, I'll put my hand up and sort of do, what, do what's asked of me, so, yeah. And has there been, uh, been any sort of individual standouts on the track that you've seen so far that uh, you might have sort of surprised you a little bit or is there um, anyone who possibly even shown, you know, capabilities of... Um, an AFL footballer because you've had plenty of experience at, you know, on that front as well? Yeah, I, th I think there's a lot of talent uh, amongst our group. Um, it's just a matter of probably getting AFL clubs to, to take notice. Uh, but yeah, there's a, there's a few guys that I, th that I think have some pretty strong capabilities. Um, Crack's had a good summer, Ash Cracker. He's a pretty classy player. From what I can gather, you know, I've only sort of seen this summer of training and a few practice matches. Um, probably played against Crack too. Uh, Hobbsy has had a good summer as well. Uh, I think he's a good stoppage player. Um, and I, I like Hoops off half back. He's a pretty powerful runner and look forward to seeing him break the lines throughout the season. So mm -hmm. he's a bit of talent in the group. And uh, overall, uh, where can the group go? Do you think uh, it's obviously very early to try and get a measure with three practice games in, but um, do you sort of, is the overall feeling that you're aiming sort of top four, top eight? Is that the ultimate goal, you know, come the end of the home and away season? Yeah, I th I, we're aiming pretty high. Um, top four's obviously going to put us in good shape to, to, to do what we really want to do, and that's win the flag. So, um, yeah, the, I think the aim initially would be to finish top four, if not top of the ladder, and um, look to be there for that last game of the year and, uh, and uh, win the flag. Well, Blair, we're absolutely thrilled to have you on board in season 2019 and trust that we'll see you play some terrific football in the red and blue. Best of luck with it all. Thanks, Sam. Cheers.